You're listening to the Daily Sales Tips Podcast, and I'm your host, Scott Ingram. Yesterday, my daughters went back to school. Those of you who know me well know that I couldn't be more thrilled because, selfishly, this means that I finally get to get my routine back on track, that their summer vacation sends completely out of whack. But I wanted to share a story from last week that I think is incredibly instructive. My youngest daughter is starting middle school, so new school, new schedule, the whole bit. Of course she was feeling a bit anxious, but what she decided to do last week was absolutely brilliant. She came to me Thursday night and asked me to wake her up at 6.30 the next morning. She wanted to walk through her morning routine and make sure she was going to be on time for the bus pickup at 7.20 a.m. The result was pretty funny because she came home and told me that I could wake her up at 6.50 and that would give her the time she needed and allow her to arrive at the bus stop at least two minutes before pickup. Now, I know she felt a lot better after that exercise because it took away a lot of the uncertainty and put her in a position to control the things that she can control. These dry runs are something that all of us can be doing when we get into new and complex situations, especially if you've got a big sales meeting involving multiple individuals on your own team. Going through a similar process to walk through a meeting and make sure everyone is clear on what their roles are, who's going to answer what questions, and what you're going to do should things get off track is critically important. It'll help you conduct a much more effective meeting, but perhaps more importantly, it helps to reduce the level of anxiety. Now everyone knows what to expect, and you can all be more present in the moment rather than having to think through things that you should have already solved for in your dry run. So here's my question for you today. When do you do dry runs? Do you find that they help? Are they worth it? Join the conversation at dailysales.tips forward slash 214 and share your thoughts. Or if you want to shoot me a note directly, you're always welcome to do that at scott at top1.fm. Thanks for listening and be sure to come by tomorrow for another great sales tip from Jeff Bajoric.